representing 10.7% of Switzerland's GDP, the financial industry is one of the country's most important business sectors. And here with us now at the NZZ Capital Market Forum to discuss the changing landscape in the industry is Patrick Odier, Chairman of the Swiss Bankers Association. Patrick, we're seeing a lot of changes in the banking industry in Switzerland now. What does all of this repositioning entail? I think it entails the fact that we have to continue to do what we do well, even, more, even better. We have to train our staff and we have to adapt to the international standards. And to what extent do you think the regulators can intervene in this process? I think regulation is part of the key assets of the financial market. So we have at the same time to develop a strong or very well-developed dialogue with the regulators, but also to avoid going beyond the international regulator, uh, regulatory trends and make of Switzerland sort of an island with Swiss finishes and things like this. That we should avoid. Do you think there's a potential that Switzerland will lose its competitiveness versus less regulated countries? Well, I think uh, business will ultimately go to the well-regulated countries and not to the less regulated countries. Switzerland is a strongly well-balanced regulated country, so I think we will maintain our market share as we proved uh, to be able to do so during the recent financial crisis. And do you think all of this changing and repositioning will represent an opportunity for wealth management in the country? Absolutely. I think uh, the service orientation, the internationalizations, the multi-service approach of our wealth management industry here in Switzerland is second to none. And if you compare it to what's happening in the rest of the world, there are only a few financial centers that can offer what we do. So absolutely, we will continue to develop on that basis. And let's move to the integrated bank debate. Do you think we'll see some banks split up? I think there, uh, there will be a differentiated evolution. I think the additional capital that has been required on a risk-weighted average or basis for some activities is absolutely uh, justified, but I think the universal banking model that Switzerland has been living through during the recent past has proven to be very effective to the economy, so we hope to be able to maintain it that way. And another hot topic in Switzerland at the moment, do you really think the golden days of um, the financial industry's return on income are over? I think the markets uh, uh, show less uh, uh, profitable opportunities. I think the costs have increased, regulatory, regulatory trends uh, requirements also. And I think we have to adapt. We have to mutualize our costs. We have to be swifter, leaner, fitter. And that's what we are about to, uh, to do. And that's what the Swiss Banking Association is trying to foster among its members. And with the financial industry now representing 10.7% of Switzerland's GDP, what do you think this figure will be in, in 10 years' time? The forecasts that we have done uh, here in Switzerland show that uh, the financial industry will grow at the same pace as the, as the economy. So I think this market share will remain uh, about the, the same or even increase if it can be innovative enough, uh, which I think we can in new instrumentation, new markets and perhaps new uh, services for our clients. So the future is bright? I think the future is challenging but bright. Great. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Thank you very much.